Hey guys, what's going on? Big Red Bullion here. Today we are going to cast this Harley Davidson buyer. Uh, so let's get to it. So guys, I just want to say uh, Happy Canada Day to all the Canadians out there and Happy Fourth of July to all the Americans. Uh, and uh, welcome to the Saturday premiere train as well. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the train and all the cool content that uh, all these awesome people are putting out. Also guys, if you guys ain't subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys hit that bell. And uh, that way you guys can be notified when I upload new videos or, you know, I decide to go live or all that stuff. So... Alright, so what we're doing here is we're just rolling out our Delft clay. And the reason why we are using the Delft clay over the petrol bond today is just because I have it closer to me. So no in particular reason, but you know. You know powder that up. Alright, we're going to place our piece centered, grab our block here and push it down about halfway. Take a peek, go just a little more. Alright, so add a little more powder on top. And this just helps so the mold releases. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our tool and we're going to create a vacuum seal around our piece. Doesn't need to be big. Just enough to create the seal. Just like that. Now what that allows is just it allows so the, the silver doesn't flow out. Help prevent flashing. And now we just add our sprue into place, a little more powder. Just to get it in that vacuum seal good. All right. So now that we have that, we can add our top part of our flask. And then, wanna grab our sifter. Cause as you guys see, this bar here has got lots of fine detail on it. And we wanna be able to capture all that detail so how we do that is just by grabbing a regular old kitchen sifter and just working the sand through it so we get fine particles Top. there we go and just scrape the rest of that fine sand on top like that and now you can just use sand that you've broken up with your hand And just gently with your thumbs just pat it down just kind of work the sand into all the detail a bit okay 
You don't want to go too hard though. Now we're going to fill up our flask. Now this is where we can use that brute force. And then go back to our rolling pin here. Just make sure it's packed in there really good. All right. We just want to get rid of all this extra sand that we don't need. No point wasting it, right? All right. So we pull that out. Okay, so now you guys will see the little bridge right here. We just want to knock that down so our silver will flow. Okay, now we can put that off to the side now. Now we want it to go to this side. We're going to remove the sprue and we are going to just give us some taps to loosen up that mold. It fell out all nice like that. That's how we want it. All right, now as you guys see, there is a bridge there. We also need to knock that out of the way. Where did I put my tool? There we go. So we're just gonna take our tool and just slightly scrape down. Now on this side, we do wanna add a vent for the air and the gas to escape. So on this side, we're just gonna create that vent line with our tool, make sure it's clean, looks good. And then here we are going to V out the sprue. Pull off any extra sand, take our toothpick, and at the end of our vent line, just poke it all the way through. Just like that. Okay, now we can put that off to the side and bring back this. We are going to V out that as well. Okay. Now, lay that down there. We're going to go to our top part and just put them together. Make sure they're pushed tight. Give it a, a little roll just to make sure that vacuum seal is closed. And then we are going to add on a couple clamps. So now that we got this all clamped up, we're going to go over to the furnace. We're going to pour it, and then I'll show you guys after that. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we are back to the Harley bar here. Let's check it out, shall we? And see how we did. So. Lay it down. We're gonna grab a couple of our tools here, and let's see how we did. So the back looks good. And now, for the moment of truth, we gotta check the top. Detail is key. Remember that, guys. If you don't got the detail, it ain't worth keeping. All right, so as you guys can see, we got some beautiful detail on that. All right, let me go clean this up and uh, we will show you guys the finished Harley bar. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right guys, I figured you guys would wanna see a little bit of the pour action here, so 
Let's do this. All right. So, let's get back to it. Show you guys what they look like. Hey guys, I'm back at the table here at the workbench getting ready to work on this piece. But before I do, I just wanted to show you guys, this is what I'm talking about by detail. So you guys can see all the lettering came out nice. Detail on the back, detail on the border, detail on the bike itself. That is key, right? Detail is key, okay? Um, beautiful piece, nonetheless. Um, like I said, still has got to get cleaned up, stamped, all that stuff. I will antique it to really make this detail pop. And, uh, yeah, so let me show you guys what this looks like when it's all done. So, that is what it looks like when it's all done, guys. As you guys can see, it really makes the detail pop all shiny and gorgeous i love the detail in this such a beautiful bar gave it a nice antique with a machine look finish and it's got a nice shine on the back as well as you guys can see my stamp is right there brb for big red bullion 1.5 ounces troy of 999 fine silver so guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this premiere video um, on casting this. Hopefully I went into a little more detail. If anybody has any questions about casting, <clears throat> you know, or is learning to cast, you know, feel free to email me. My email is down in the description. You know, I'm up to helping out anybody really. Um, so yeah. And if anybody would like to purchase a piece, just send me an email. Uh, I also do trades in that too. So guys, we are going to end the video here, but first before I end the video, I just want to remind you guys, if you guys ain't subscribed, hit that bell, and uh, that way you guys are notified the next time I release a cool video. So until next time guys, like I always say, keep stacking, stay safe, and have a good one.